Yeah, going back to school time, new backpack, new back to school. That's a great time. New it's beginnings. New beginnings. And as adults, we don't always get that reboot, but don't we deserve it? We do. We do. Joining us this morning to talk about <laughs> and share some scented trends from New York City Fashion Week is Linda Levy, fragrance queen and president of the Fragrance Foundation. Linda, thanks for being here. Yes. We're excited to see you. Lisa and Owen, I am thrilled to be in Houston right now. Thanks for having me on. Oh, we're, we pleasure. are stoked for this interview. Let's get right into it. What is scent wardrobing? And it, is it something that designers consider when creating their signature scents? Let me tell you about that. Okay. We have a lot of fabulous fragrances. You have a few there. We're going to sniff them together. Okay. But designers are very needless to say into fashion. And what we have really found is that most um, consumers don't want just one signature scent anymore. So we call it a fragrance wardrobe. We also refer to fragrance as the invisible accessory, which has been surging ever since the pandemic. People really want to smell good. And to just close that loop on both questions you asked, instead of going out and buying a Chanel bag or a Dior outfit or a Burberry raincoat, you can really translate that aspiration into fragrance. So. Um, fashion is a great way to get into it, and we're going to talk about how many can be in your wardrobe today, Owen and Lisa. Yeah, well, but back to the invisible accessory, though. I mean, I, I guess it's sort of self-explanatory. It's, I guess people will recognize this, yeah. or the scent needs to be certainly recognizable for it to qualify. Yes, you know, no outfit is complete, <laughs> Owen, unless you have an accessory. And, you know, during the pandemic, or even right now as we're zooming on, this fabulous TV station. You can't see me, but one day we hope you can smell me. And I know right now the two of you are smelling good. So I see your beautiful fashion outfits, but um, I know that this particular accessory is totally invisible. That's right. That's right. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, talk to us about the power of perfume. Can the scents that we wear actually make a difference? And how does that happen? Yes, something that a lot of people realized when we were all in lockdown and thank goodness we're out again, scent really has a powerful way to um, touch on memories or transport you to another time or remind you of the first date with the person you wind up being married to. <laughs> yes. So scent memory really can take you in a lot of different ways. Another thing that scent absolutely does, it's sort of a spa self-care thing, like the Nest um, uh, candle that we sent to you. If you oh just yeah, said, I got it right it here. It smells amazing, This by is the, way. the wild mint and eucalyptus. The wellness. Yes, and the three fragrances that you have today mm -hmm. are from the Fragrance Foundation Awards. We give out awards oh. like the Oscars. It oh, happens awesome. every June out in uh, Lincoln Center here in New York City. Yes. And the three that you have actually won, consumers wow. voted for their favorite candle and this nest eucalyptus yeah. one and if you really take a deep breath it smells and i don't know if you can really uh, light it up in the studio there i don't want to cause a fire <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like going to the spa yes it does no it's amazing and, yeah this is gonna and we have some burberry here mm -hmm. hero and tom ford black orchid and it's all oh it's it smells so rich doesn't it does it? doesn't it mm. Good stuff. The Burberry said, Hero, this yeah. you might find interesting too, is specifically designed for men and it had a fabulous um, campaign and we call this a men's fragrance. And you know there are women's fragrances out there. Mm -hmm. But the newest thing in fragrance also in the last few years is calling fragrances universal. And this Tom mm -hmm. Ford Black Orchid is a great example yeah. because both men and women wear this. This won a Hall of Fame award. It's been around for about 15 years. It is a gorgeous fragrance. Take a whiff, you two. Yes, yes. What do you think of Black Orchid? It's it's very, it's, it's indulgent. I yeah. like it. It's, a little um, will go a long way. It it's a like good fall fragrance, winter fragrance. I enjoyed it. I definitely uh, smelled some similarities, I think, between, Tom unless Tom I just Ford. sprayed them too close to each other, between the Tom Ford and the Burberry. I, I feel like they're maybe in a similar category of some kind. They both well, smell delicious. Owen, you're going to be an expert in the next three minutes. <laughs> the way that we categorize fragrances is in groups like floral, sweet, woody or whatever. Uh -huh. The Burberry Hero um, EDT that you have there, and it's an EDT, an eau de toilette, so it is a bit lighter in comparison to the Tom Ford Black Orchid, but we call that a woody spicy. Okay. And in there, 
we talk about fragrance with top, middle, and base notes. The first thing you smell there is a bergamot. Next, Ooh. it's sort of a juniper and black pepper. Mm -hmm. And if you were to wear it, you know, maybe for a half hour, it would get down to the dry down and all three notes would come together of base, middle, and top. So it's woody and spicy. The Tom Ford one, we call an amber floral. So there's a strong black currant at the top. There's a truffle and it would be long lasting. This one you might want to wear um, in the evening or like you said, in the fall. Yeah, mm. they're both amazing. And I was thinking like coincidentally, I looked inside my suit and I was like, well, this is Burberry. Oh. So now I got the Burberry cologne. I, yeah, I should put it all together, right? Does that? Yeah. Oh, and you have a complete fashion outfit today. Uh-huh, by accident. A, a broken <laughs> clock is right twice a day. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't think it's an accident. I think you found your next signature scent. I love there it. There it is. I love it. That's <laughs> it. Oh my goodness. I, I, we're running out of time and I'm, I'm disappointed. Do we have to but go? I, I guess think we, do. we have. Linda okay, Levy. So before go ahead, we yes. Go, if you yeah. don't mind me saying, please jump on to uh, fragrancefoundation.org, okay. learn a lot about our initiatives. And next time, if you'll have me back, we'll talk about Fragrance Forward TFF, which is bringing diversity into the fragrance industry. Oh, that's love a great that. topic. Love that, love that. Check mm -hmm. out that website for more. It's a lot to talk it. about. We can't yes. wait to, to have you back, Linda. Thanks again. We could talk Thanks to you Thanks so much for having me. Have a great autumn. Thank you too. Linda Levy, Fragrance Queen and President of the Fragrance Foundation. Thank you so much. Yeah.